Good evening, and welcome to this episode of Newswatch Update. I'm Jack Demler. A judge has denied a motion by a Laurelville area woman who has been charged with helping her father cover up a murder. The woman had asked for the judge to dismiss the charges against her on the grounds that she had been jailed too long awaiting trial. The woman in question, Mary Sue Dixon, is facing seven counts of evidence tampering, one count of gross abuse of a corpse, two counts of obstructing justice, and one count of engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. All of these charges are a result of her alleged help covering up her father's killing of South Bloomingville native James T. Whitaker. Now, let's take a look at your local weather with Nicholas. Well, today's April Fool's joke comes as courtesy from Mother Nature as highs were only in the 30s. Yes, winter is returning to the forecast area today. Highs are going to only remain, as I said earlier, in the 30s. Maybe a few scattered snow flurries here or there, but nothing accumulating. Uh, highs will remain cold for the next couple of days, although Friday's highs will not quite be as cold as we saw today with highs in the 40s. Warming up into the 60s for your Easter Sunday. Easter festivities are going to be perfect. Any outdoor activities you may have in the next week, warming you all the way up into the 70s with rain returning. Joe? Hello, I'm Joe Collins, and here's what we have for sports. The Ohio Volleyball team kicks off the MAC tournament Friday night in Bowling Green when they take on Western Michigan. The Bobcats will play in the semifinals as the third seed in the MAC and look to make it to the finals in hope of winning their first MAC championship since 2015. The game will be Friday at 7 p.m. The Ohio Bobcats baseball team will start a four game series on the road Friday afternoon when they take on the Toledo Rockets. Both teams have struggled so far in conference play as Ohio is just 3-5 and five, while Toledo is 2-6 and six and 4-17 and overall. And the Ohio field hockey team will be on the road to take on Appalachian State on Friday. The game will take place at 1 p.m. as they look to win their third and four games. Back to you, Jack. An Ohio electric company under scrutiny for its role in what authorities are calling a $60 million bribery and corruption scheme are refunding $26 million to customers. The money in question was collected through a tainted nuclear bailout bill, and the governor signed a repeal of the bill, and Akron-based First Energy announced the decision to refund customers yesterday. First Energy was ordered to refund the collections paid to its three Ohio Electric Utilities by a combined effort of the Ohio Consumers Council and the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio. The Columbus mayor is vowing that the city's next police chief will come from outside the police department. Democratic Mayor Andrew Ginther says that not only will the chief be an outsider, but a new assistant chief position will allow the next leader to bring his or her own people in as aides. Ginther says that's one of the lessons learned from the previous search, where some candidates appear to be reluctant to take the job solo. This drastic overhaul of the police department and the appointing of an outsider to the position of the police chief will be a first for Ohio's capital city. And more outcry following the controversial tweet made by Ohio Lieutenant Governor John Houston. Dozens of Asian Americans who live in the same suburb of Houston have penned a letter expressing their concerns with his Wuhan virus tweet and their fears for the safety of their children. That does it for this episode of Newswatch Update. I'm Jack Demler. Have a great night.